Happy holidays from the Goodwill bins. I am here. I am so excited to head inside with y'all to find some amazing treasures. As always, this is my home away from home. I love the Goodwill outlet. I love digging through these big blue bins to see what I can find. Today, we're going to go inside, thrift together, and I'm also going to do a big old haul after that. Last time I was at the bins, I scored an amazing find. I posted about it on Instagram. I found this Taylor Swift cardigan and when I posted about it on Instagram a lot of y'all DM'd me asking what size it was. It's a medium slash large and asking to buy it and since there's so much demand from y'all I decided I wanted to put it in my first live show which leads me to the sponsor of this video Whatnot. I know so many of y'all are already obsessed with whatnot and some of y'all are probably asking what is whatnot. Whatnot is so much fun. I'm so excited to finally be on here. It's an app where you can buy items like clothes from sellers like any reselling platform except it's all live auctions. So it's super fast paced, super fun. Sellers have shows where they showcase the items that they're selling and they start each item at a certain price. And guess what? I am having my first show this week and everything that I find in this video to sell I am going to be auctioning off in my first show on whatnot and everything that I find today I am going to start it at just three dollars and so you could score an amazing deal. The Taylor Swift cardigan I will also be auctioning off. I won't be starting that $3, but I still think you can get an amazing deal on that as well. The show will be this Friday, December 16th at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 5 p.m. Central Standard Time or 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So head over to Whatnot to bookmark my show. And if you don't have the Whatnot app already, use my link to download it and you'll get $15 off your first purchase. So you very well could get something from my auction for free, which would be so cool. I'll pop my invite link up on the screen and I'll also put it in the description down below. So make sure you use that to get $15 off your first purchase. It would mean so much to me if you attended my show, snagged a great deal, had some fun with me this Friday. So be sure to go to Whatnot, bookmark my show. It is again Friday, December 16th, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So without further ado, Let's head inside, find some amazing things to auction off this Friday, and have a lot of fun. And then I'll show you all a haul once I get all my goodies and head on home. All right, so excited. Fingers crossed we find some amazing things. first find of the day, I decided to pick up this Soma maxi dress. Soma is a brand that I actually haven't sold very much, but I do know that some resellers like to sell it and some resellers love it as a brand. So I picked it up. This is a maxi dress that is size extra large. this Maeve by Anthropology white blouse. When it says by Anthropology, that's how you know that it's at least a somewhat recent piece. However, this top had huge stains on it. And despite my stain treating hacks, which if you haven't checked out my last video, I will link it up on the screen. I decided to leave it behind. Okay. I actually do like selling J Jill, especially that pure Jill tag, but this particular piece had bleach stains on it so I left it behind. The next thing that I found was this waif or where are you from paisley top. I thought this was so cute. It's definitely retro inspired and 
I am hopeful that it sells in my whatnot show for at least $3 because it's so, so cute. It's got this smocked bottom and flared sleeves. I just think it's adorable. My next find was this hat and my eye spied it because I thought it was really cute but then I turned it over and the brand was Wyeth which is a great brand. It is sold at places like Anthropology, Shop Bop, so I definitely picked that up. I think it's so cute and I'm going to put it for sale on my whatnot show. I also found these Kith shorts. Kith is such a bolo brand, really good brand to know but unfortunately these were torn apart and the tearing was on the seam, so I was actually considering getting them professionally repaired. However, upon closer inspection, I noticed other flaws, like the logos were peeling and so forth, so I did not end up throwing it back. My next find was this striped top by All Saints, and actually, I didn't realize this when I picked it up at the bins, but this is new with tag, so I'm really excited to get this one auctioned off on Whatnot as well. I found this really pretty vintage Lucky brand sweatshirt that was fully embroidered and it was a really long line sweatshirt. I feel like it could have been really good money. However, it had tons of bleach stains all over it, so I left it behind, but isn't that really pretty? I found this squash mellow, is that what it's called? <laughs> I actually have no idea about these things. I've just heard about them in the reselling community. So I put it in my car, I check comps, and that particular one is not worth much. But upon checking comps, I did realize that some are worth a lot of money. So if anyone would be so kind in the comments to let me know what the deal is with those things, <laughs> that would be very helpful, thank you. I found this really nice men's Michael Kors coat. And I don't know if y'all are going to want to buy it in my whatnot auction, but I'm gonna put it up anyway because I really like selling outerwear by brands like Michael Kors, Ralph Lauren, etc. So I spent some time looking this one over to make sure there were any significant flaws because it was a really nice piece. I was surprised someone had thrown it back. Even had a hood in that little zipper pocket. So yeah, you'll see this in the haul in more detail and in my whatnot auction. I wanted to show y'all this sweater because it was maybe the most shrunken sweater I have ever seen that has gone through gone through it in the washing machine. And this is Elizabeth and James. So Elizabeth and James is Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen's old fashion line. They had a diffusion collaboration under Kohl's. 
I don't know if that's still there, but now they don't even have Elizabeth and James anymore. They do have the row, I believe, and that's still worth a lot of money. But Elizabeth and James, especially that older tag that you saw there, really isn't worth anything. I wouldn't recommend picking it up, but I just think it is funny that Elizabeth and James is named after their siblings who were less famous at the time when they picked it. And now Elizabeth Olsen is very famous. She's Wanda in the Marvel films, but anyways, I digress. Point being, I would not recommend picking up Elizabeth and James probably like 9.9 .9 times out of 10. I found these lambskin suede leggings from Vince. They were size extra, extra small. I was so excited to find someone had thrown them back and I couldn't figure out why at the time. But then later on when I was going through my cart, I realized that they have a really big run on the front. So I did end up putting them back, but I was really excited about these. Okay, well, that's a successful Goodwill Bins trip. I got 34.4 pounds for 44.38. Oh gosh, the rain. <laughs> it's making that like impossible to read. I don't know if y'all can see that. But um, yeah, and I got some good stuff that I'm so excited to auction off at my whatnot show. So I'm gonna go home, prep the items, and then I'll show you in the hall everything that's going to be for sale on my first live show. I'm so excited. All right, I'll see you there. Okay, well, I got a haircut <laughs> since I saw you last and it's time for the haul. I'm so excited to show you everything I found that is going to be for sale at my whatnot show. Yeah, let's dive in. I ordered this in alphabetical order because I think that's how I'm gonna list it on whatnot. Here's the first piece. You saw it, I think, in the thrift with me section. It is an All Saints top. It actually is new with tags, which is really cool. It originally retailed for $75. It's called the Rita Stripe Tee. And of course, it's in excellent condition. It's an oversized fit with a dolman drop shoulder sleeve. Super cute. It's this burnout material, if you can see that. So really, really easy to wear. Next, this is a item that I used to love selling. I haven't sold it in a long time. Um, but it is aloe yoga. I haven't found aloe very much at the bins, but these are in excellent condition. There is one small flaw. These are the Moto leggings by aloe. And when I used to sell them, they used to sell really, really well. The one flaw is that it's got this tiny, see on this, so they have these panels of kind of like metallic fabric. On this knee, on the right knee, there's a little imperfection, very small. Oh, actually, there's other one other flaw. The middle seam area, it, the fabric is a little bit thin. It is a size medium, and yeah, really cute. I thought those were really good find from the bins. I wanted to auction these off because I think a lot of people wear them, but I'm not sure, and I thought these were a good size. These are American Eagle, and these are in excellent condition. They're American Eagle curvy highest rise jegging, and it's really pretty dark wash. And it's a size 16, so I thought that's a good size. I wanted to see if anyone wanted these, and yeah, super cute. Next is an anthropology piece. Uh, this is a little bit of an older tag c worn kept by anthropology size us8 but i thought this was so cute it is this peplum style metallic thread 
striped kind of semi sheer blouse peplum a little bit of a boxy cropped fit I thought that's really, really adorable. It's a button front, but the buttons aren't exposed. Really cute. This next piece was a really good find. It is this silk, well, it's 93% silk Armani exchange dress. Size four, it's got this kind of sheer lace along the neckline and back here. It's a really dainty but beautifully constructed dress. It'd be great for Christmas or Valentine's Day. Definitely a slip dress. You could layer it, but I think it's really beautiful on its own as well. Okay, I found a couple of Athleta sweaters. This one's really, really cute. It's actually from 2020, so fairly newer piece too. So there is the tag for this one, Athleta. Both of them are size medium. This one is a red, chunky knit sweater. It's kind of an oversized fit. It is wool blend. Let me see, I think it's like 45% wool, 40% wool, and it's in excellent condition. There is some like light pinling because of the wool, but I went over it with a sweater shaper and it looks like it's in excellent condition to me. And then there's this asymmetric white Athleta sweater. This is more of a cotton blend. It does have a little bit of silk in it and it is from 2018 So it's a little bit older, but still in excellent condition Really really cute next. I found these new a tag pair of Banana Republic Logan pants They retailed for hundred and ten dollars in the size four petite and they are a polka dot print They're navy with white polka dots. Here's the regular tag I actually got lucky with a few new tag items this time around. I love picking up new tag items from the bins. Uh, these are really, really cute. If you go into an office anywhere, I think these are so perfect for that. But they'd also be really good to resell as well. This next piece was kind of, I don't know, it's not one I would typically pick up, but I thought it was really cute. It's a fast fashion brand. It's new with tags as well. It's Fashion Nova, size medium. New tag. It's called the You're My Safe Place sweater. And it's this really cute cropped brown sweater that's ribbed. It's definitely a chunky knit. And I just, I, I'm obsessed with brown right now. I don't know. And I thought this was really, really cute to wear with high rise jeans. So I wanted to pick it up and see if anyone wanted it. If not, I can sell it. I think it's really cute. Okay. Next is this Helmet Lang size small got lucky with a few designer pieces asymmetric jacket it's a knit jacket in excellent condition it's got this statement heavy zipper and then it also has well, i guess this big hook eye closure that makes it kind of a cowl neck look so i thought that was cute i wanted to pick it up size small another pair of jeans these are j crew they are the toothpick jeans in a size 28 and they're in excellent condition. They have a little bit of distressing on the leg. This is definitely a staple kind of piece I would pick up regularly. So I picked it up, but hopefully one of y'all want it. Okay, next is actually a men's piece. I think I have two men's pieces in here. And I included them because I think in my experience they sell really well, but also if you wanted to pick them up for someone else in your life, that would be cool too. Or if any men are out there watching, I got a couple pieces for you. This is a John Varvatos extra large hoodie. And I've had a lot of luck selling John Varvatos. It's this blue stripe marled fabric. It's so soft. It's really, really soft. And it's lined as well. It's just a really thick, well-constructed jersey knit full zip sweatshirt with a kangaroo pocket. Just really soft, great piece for especially this time of year. I feel like it's something that you can wear like to the office or just as loungewear even. Okay, this is a brand I've been really enjoying picking up lately. This is Lane Bryant. It's a size 24 plus size and it is this blazer with this satin trim lapel along the front. Really, really pretty and yeah, a really good piece to have. If you're going into the office, if you have a job, I think this would be really great, but also I think it's just a really good layering piece. Like if you were going out and you wanted to wear something like this with a pair of jeans or like a skirt or something, I think it'd be really cute. Okay, this was a really exciting find. I need to look up the style name of this, but this is a Lululemon bag. I think this is the 
first time I found a Lululemon bag at the bins. It's, as far as I can tell, in excellent, excellent condition. Um, it's kind of got that gathered bottom there. It's a long kind of shoulder style bag. Um, but the straps come off, so I think you can shorten it and make it a shorter bag. The inside is in excellent condition. The best is yet to come. It's got this pink mesh in the inside. I can't believe this is in such good condition. Let you look inside there. It even has this, I think, for you know your wet garments that came with the bag. So yeah, really cool find. I'm super excited to see how this does. Oh, and it still has the pull tag too. So I should be able to find the style name pretty easily. Cool. This came out in a new rotation and I was so stoked to find it. It was one of those moments like, oh my God, yay. Okay, and then I had a few other Lululemon pieces that I found. The first is this pair of shorts. They are kind of a, I don't know if the color's coming off right. They're like a pinky red, but pretty bright. And then they've got a rolled hem there, drawstring, pockets, which is always awesome. And then a back pocket. These are a size eight. I'll show you the size dot. And I actually did find the style name for these. I think they're called the Spring Breakaway Shorts. Yeah, they're called the Lululemon Spring Breakaway Short in the color Alarming. So that was an exciting find. I love Lululemon shorts. I have a pair like that that are green and they have a rolled hem and I love them. I wear them all the time. Okay, and then I found a couple of tanks. This is a kind of space dye gray and cream color tank. I don't know the size for these, so I'm going to include measurements and guesstimate the size. Uh, when I list it for whatnot. This is really cute. It's got this kind of back cut out here. And I'll have to look up the style name is this for this as well. Cute. And then, and then this tank, which is probably from the same person, probably the same size. It has a little pocket on the front. It's a navy and cream stripe tank. Got the little lemon symbol there. Really cute. And then next I have one Madewell piece, size extra small. It's this really pretty floral, vintage inspired floral print uh, top with this tie at the waist, short sleeve. And yeah, just really, really cute. I love that print. Okay, I think y'all saw me find this behemoth. <laughs> I was considering not auctioning it off, but I decided, hey, you know what, what the heck, let's do it. So this is a Michael Kors coat. It is a size extra large. It's got this ribbed sweater knit collar, and it's a herringbone print on the outside, if y'all can see that. And it's a quilted puffer coat. And then it's got a hood, which I think I showed y'all in the Thrift With Me portion. It's got these side pockets. Here, it's got full pockets here, full zip. This is something that I would love to sell, so I wanted to pick it up. And then next is a brand I've actually really enjoyed picking up and selling recently, and it is Nick and Zoe, size 2X. This is a kind of almost satin tank. It's got this abstract print on it that's blue and purple cream and has a little bit of like kind of like pomegranate color in there really pretty perfect layering piece and then this is a brand i really don't pick up that much i don't know why because i'm in oregon and there's a lot of it here but it's pendleton and it's a size medium unfortunately the material content has been cut off garment care tag rather but i thought this was so cute i love this color first of all it's kind of a or brownie orange color it's got a single button here and it's got pockets it's kind of like a swing jacket the back it's got this vent i just thought this was so 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 cute okay and then i came across a few soma pieces so i just picked them all up <laughs> the first is this new tag i guess they call them mucklucks cabin socks in gray, size small slash medium. Basically these cat cable knit lined socks, with little treads on the bottom of the socks so you don't slip and they're really, really soft on the inside. Got like a faux shirling inside. 
So I thought those were perfect for this time of year, say small, medium. You know, I don't expect them to go for a lot, but I thought they were really cute and really nice to have. And then y'all saw me find this. This is a Soma extra large maxi dress, really soft. That Soma fabric was really, really soft and just really nice for loungewear, but you could also, I think, wear this out of the house for sure. And then I'm gonna put these, lot these together. It's two Soma slips. This is more of a shirt, the white one is. And then I've got this mint or blue colored one that's a chemise length or dress length. So, and they're both a size large. Yeah, they've got this really nice lace embroidery on the front there. And then I picked up a couple of Torrid pieces. I've been loving selling Torrid. So the first is this. It's a 1, which converts to a 1X. And it is this boho print short sleeve blouse. It has a button back and a high-low hem a little bit. Curved high-low hem. Just really easy to wear. And then, towards sweaters do especially well for me. I thought this one was really cute. It's also a 1X, and it's this leopard print, kind of long line button front cardigan. Really cute, in excellent condition. Oh, I forgot, I skipped the most important piece. <laughs> this Taylor Swift, I don't have it hanging because I don't want it to stretch out. This Taylor Swift cardigan. It's got the stars on the elbows. It's got the Taylor Swift patch. It is a size medium large. You can see there. And it is in excellent condition. So pretty, so cozy to wear this time of year. It's really perfect. If you're going to the concert, you can wear this. Super cute. Excited to see who gets that piece and um, yeah, how much it goes for. Excited to see how it goes. Okay, almost done. Next is this Vince sweater. It is a size small. It is such a soft knit. It is this boat neck, navy blue drop shoulder, really, really soft sweater. Material contents are 40% rayon, 30% nylon, acrylic, and then cashmere. But yeah, really, really nice and in excellent condition. And then I think y'all saw me find this. This is that Where Are You From waif blouse. Really, really cute. It'd be so cute to wear this V-neck surplus neckline, smocked bodice, these wide sleeves size medium satin fabric and it go perfectly with the next piece this this wyeth here i'll show you the i think i showed you but i'll show you again this wyeth brown hat it's so cute this is one size it is a straw hat it's got i think either faux leather or a real leather brown band. I told y'all I was obsessed with brown right now, so I'm really obsessed with this. I'm tempted to try it on and keep it, but I'm not going to let myself. <laughs> it's really, really cute. Maybe if none of y'all want it, I will keep it. Super cute. I think you can wear it like down like that, or you can kind of pull it up like that. So cute. Okay, and then that brings me to the last piece. It is Zara. It is this coat. It's got, again, another single button coat. This is a long coat, pockets here. Um, the It's actually, it's in great condition, but I did have to pill it. And I will say it looks like it's in excellent condition, but if you feel right here, it's a little bit like pilled. I did go over it with a sweater shaver, but you know, if you feel, you know, here versus here, it feels a little bit different. It's a size medium. I just wanted to disclose that in case you receive it. But it still it has so much life left and it's, I think, in really, really good condition. So I liked it. I really like this kind of open seam look. A very wearable coat. So 
thought this was really, really cute. Okay, well, that is everything from this haul. Thank y'all so much for watching. And thank you to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out my very first Whatnot show this Friday. I'm so excited and kind of nervous. <laughs> so if you would show up, it'd mean the world to me. You can head on over to Whatnot now. And if you don't have an account yet, be sure to use my link. You'll get $15 off your first purchase. And my show is at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 5 p.m. Central Standard Time and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, y'all. Well, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I think Billy is waking up, so I've got to run, but I'll see you on the next one. Okay. Love y'all. Bye.